Let's go, mint skull. Wondering what is inside the Krampus basket? Yes. Well, if we take a look inside, we can see that it's a smaller goat-looking thing as it has ears and horns. What? Something that is almost impossible to see in game. What? And in Dwight's majestic tropics shirt, the Sudoku book that he has in his bag is a book that you can actually buy in real life. What? Great's bell has a modeled clapper inside, which is attention to detail to the fullest. The icon in the hold up. How the hell do you find this out? Like, how are you able to see this? Like, is there a camera mode in the game on PC? What? Perk Resilience shares the same face as the adept icon of Meg. So uh -huh. is Meg the face of the Perk Resilience? Or was the perk face taken for Meg's adept? I bet you to like this video if you didn't know this next fact about Hillbilly. If you turn Hillbilly on his back and you take a look at his left hand, you will notice that he has a twitch. You might be wondering why Behavior took its time to implement this animation that most people will never see. Well, this is because in the past, Hillbilly did not have his chainsaw in the lobby, so you could what? see this animation on his hand. Did I get you? Claudette's favorite plant is called the Ghost Orchid according- Hold on, how are you moving so fast, bro? Hillbilly never had a chainsaw? When the hell did the chainsaw, like, become a thing? Wait, why does Hillbilly need a chainsaw? What? I mean, shouldn't he have like a banjo and like whoop your ass with it or something? Hit him with a banjo. <laughs> Banjo, huh? What? I'm helping. <laughs> Where is he gonna get a banjo? I don't know. But I saw a guy get hit with a banjo once, and he went down. Hillbilly did not have his chainsaw in the lobby, so you could see this animation on his hand. Did I get you? Claudette's favorite plant is called the Ghost Orchid, according to one charm in Tome mm. 6. The developers have hinted in the past that the nurse and the wraith are dating in yes. the entity surround. Which is why both got the Valentine's Day cosmetics. If Jake never left the forest to leave his old life behind, he could potentially be the richest character in Dead by Daylight what? by a huge margin. Even richer than characters like Trickster, Fed Hold up. How? Richer? Like, that fool balling like that? That's crazy. Also, what's going on with my green screen, man? Let me, let me fix that real quick. Alright, I think we good. Let's go. Felix or Elodie. Some of his clothing in the store reflect that light. The Huntress has a small hatchet on her left hip that is the same hatchet that she uses to throw. This hatchet is even there on her legendary outfits like Mordeo and Baba Yaga. Mm. But for some reason, it's missing on her spoils of war cosmetic. Nia's bicolored outfits are from her secondary outfit instead of her default one. She is the only character in the game that has no recolors of her default cosmetic in the store. However, what is interesting is that since they did not choose her default cosmetics as the one to recolor, she does not have any beanie recolors. This is really curious because Jake, Claudette, Dwight and Meg have recolored hats. Nia is the only classic character that is missing this. Michael okay. Myers has a shirtless texture in the files. So that means some artist at Behavior has seen a shirtless Myers. During the whoa, 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 so you're telling me that they've seen Michael Myers butt naked? Yo, that's crazy. Y'all perverts. Yes, I am indeed a pervert. Does that offend you? The description of it was scare the dude, teleport to the thing. Bill is the only survivor in the game that has particle effects on his default outfit. His cigarette has been lit for five years now. Doctor is the <laughs> only killer. Homie said his cigarette has been lit for five years. Yo, that's funny. Doctor is the only killer in the game that still reuses the Trapper's Lobby animation. In the past, Hillbilly and Huntress also reused the animation by accident, what? but it was later fixed. David King has the honor of having the most expensive rare cosmetic in the game. His bully outfit cost is 250 Auric Cells Damn. per piece, to a total of 945 Auric Cells with a 10% discount. Is there a reason for this price? Mm -hmm. Only behavior knows. Leatherface map, according to the developers, is the Grim Pantry, which is the map shown in his promotional material. However, in his spotlight video, the showcase is done in the Coldwind farm. What you're looking at right now is the work in progress beta lorry character portrait icon before it was finished 
that I didn't show in my Michael Myers beta video. Freddy Krueger cannot close his eyes, so you will always see his eyes open. What? And for that same reason, his character portrait hides his eyes so it looks more intimidating. Okay. Because if you check under the fedora, you will see how weird he looks like. <laughs> Feng Min's default recolor. Yo, why they do Freddy like that? Hey, yo, what the? Freddy look like he's seen some shit. Like, some shit. <laughs> weird he looks like. Feng Min's default recolors are bootleg versions of her esports team according to the cosmetic description. Bootleg? These cosmetics change the color of her esports logo, which might be why they are considered bootleg. She has an official recolor of her default cosmetic, and that one does not change the color of the logo. The Pig and Freddy Krueger share the same animation in the match lobby, which is weird since Pig has her own animations in the main lobby. In Quentin's old prestige outfit, he had the marks of Freddy's claws on his face. On his new prestige, it looks like these scars are missing. Mm. And since we're talking about prestiges, originally, Ace Visconti's prestige was extremely disappointing, but they were later changed to be way better. In every clown cosmetic, you can see his favorite selection of fingers to suck. However, there are two outfits with a curious distinction. On his blighted outfit, Clown has a completely new selection Damn. of fingers, and on his Mr. Puddles cosmetic, he, he decided to hide his fingers inside his pocket. Yeah. Detective Tap was the last licensed survivor. To My dude, yo, they messed your headline up, homie. Damn. To have a Benedict Baker entry on his lore. Kate was the last original survivor with a Benedict Baker entry, as after the clown's chapter, Benedict Baker disappeared completely. When the spirit was first released, she didn't have any animation for vaulting a window. It looks like she instantly teleported to the other side. But Xavier changed this to the current animation we have in order to not give her an advantage over the other killers. All right. It was hard to predict when the vault was real or just fake. Each of Kate's perks are named after songs she wrote and sang herself before she was taken by the entity. At okay. first glance, it seems like every single Robbie the Rabbit outfit has the same weapon, but according to the description of each, they are taken from different attractions in an abandoned theme park. What? One of the plague's add-ons, the devotee's amulet, showcases a Babylonian god of pestilence and mayhem. This add-on is based on a real-life artifact representing the god Era, which is the god of pestilence That's crazy. and mayhem. Just I like in that. case you didn't see the leaks, Ghostface will get a scary movie mask in the next rift. This is the best mask in the entire game. And I got Despite it. Despite what many people might think when using Adam's pebble perk, the stone does not collide with walls. This means that if you throw it on a wall border, the killer will see the effect very outside of the map. The name of the Demogorgon's weapon is called Barbarous Claws. Now you might not think much of the name, but it is actually a reference to the first confirmed kill of the Demogorgon in Stranger Things. Hmm. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you know, you know. Okay. And yes, I just made that fact up. And the Demogorgon asked you to subscribe to my channel. The voice actor of Jeff also voiced Trapper, Wraith, Hillbilly, Leatherface, I know this Freddy already. Kruger, and Ghostface. Yes, I know this. So you could have the same voice actor playing the role of the killer and the survivor in the same match. Oni is the only killer in the game that directly hurts the survivors when he finds them in a mm. locker by stabbing them with his katana. This Yo. is because the Oni gets blood from finding a survivor from a locker. This does not happen if the Oni grabs someone from a generator or interrupts them in any other way. Okay. Jane, Feng Min, Yun Jin, the trickster and the artist are the only characters in the game that can wear outfits that were made or commissioned for themselves. Okay. Dead Slinger has a leg brace in each of his cosmetics except in the Oxen Bounty outfit where this leg brace is missing. This is a nice detail to show why he is walking slower than most other killers and also shows how intelligent he is that he created his own leg brace during the Wild West. That's crazy. According to the lore of Ash Williams, uh -huh. the only reason he ended up in the Entity's realm is because he misspelled a recitation that a demon told him to repeat. So yeah, the reason he is stuck here is because of a mistake. Because he's stupid. He's the only killer in the game that cannot nod. Ah. This is the most obscure fact in this video by far. Did you know that both Nancy and Steve have
Have what? The blight's blighted outfit has Yo, no no no. What? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, Minsko? What? Did you know that both Nancy and Steve have Have what? The blight's blighted outfit has pustula flowers growing out of his face. If you check the in-game models, you can find the blight's blighted outfit face Yo. without the flowers. And you can see just how disfigured his face is after this. You According ugly. to her adept achievement description when she first came out to the game, Yui Kimura's original name was Yui Enatsu. Charlotte has a massive head scar that can only be visible if you glitch your camera somehow, as all of her cosmetics hide the scar in some way. Yo. Curious how the developers take care to add these types That's of details crazy. to characters we will never see in the game. For some reason, in Zarina's guerrilla filmmaker outfit, the tripod inside her back is fully modeled and this is impossible to see in the game. In the Dead by Daylight website, Trickster's render is missing the blood on his torso, unlike in the Dead by Daylight render where you can see the blood. Cheryl is the only survivor in the game that holds an item in her official render. The rest of the characters hold nothing, yeah. so this is the only official render of an item, a flashlight. The Nemesis has four different variants of stars for when he morries or finds a stars member in a locker. Okay, yeah, I remember this one. If you could play two killers in the same match, would Nemesis attack Wesker? Just like Yui Inatsu became Yui Kimura, Elodie Rakoto also had a beta name in the PTB. She was called Elodie Beaumont. Beaumont. The Xenobite had to have his voice lines replaced because his voice was not the original Duke Bradley, but instead an impersonator. However, what? the stunt noises that are currently in the game are not from Duke Bradley. They are from the original voice actor of the Xenobite instead. Nice! Of all non-licensed survivors in Dead by Daylight, Yunjin is the only one that has an actual recording of her voice that you can hear in the teaser for the tone 9 of Dead by Daylight. You can listen to the rest of it in the link on the description. Okay. According to the Dead by Daylight wiki, the artist's global sound effect comes from the four corners of the map, which explains why when you play against her, you might hear the sound effect coming from a different direction than where she is currently located at. All of the Resident Evil characters were not voiced by members of Behavior, but instead voice actors from the Monster Factory. Onryo has a really cool detail exclusive to her. She is the only killer in the game that does not have any breathing sounds. What? Which, I mean, makes sense since she is a ghost, so yeah. she doesn't need to breathe. But this means that if you equip Insidious with her and you stand still while manifested, she is completely silent. Damn! And you can try this for yourself. That's Just crazy. Just select Sadako in the lobby and put your volume to the max. And you will see that she does not make any breathing sounds okay. at all. In Michaela's trailer, for some reason, she has paintings of the Dead by Daylight killers in the walls, what? including Pyramid Head and Dead Singer. There is no explanation as to why she has access to these pictures, so most likely it's just reused assets. But who knows? Maybe she does have magic powers. Maybe. This is something that I didn't found, but Jane Romero on Twitter did. It is very possible that the envelope that Jonah received on his lore, which included the mysterious code, is the same offering that are found in the Entity's Realm that are unaddressed. This would be really interesting if this were the case. Yoichi, Cheryl and Harikao are the only survivors in Dead by Daylight that have paranormal power unless you want to count Ash Williams and Michaela as having interacted with paranormal stuff before That's being dope. taken by the Entity. All right. Meg and David are the survivors who got hurt the most in the promotional trailers of the different chapters in Dead by Daylight. David with the twins and Legion and Meg with the DVD official release and Nemesis. Rebecca's campfire sitting animation is the same pose as in the picture that Albert Wesker had hidden in his personal desk. What? For some you reason, pervert? You can see Ada Wong's template underwear in the pants icon which is something that I thought Behavior would try to hide. Dredge 
is the only killer in Dead by Daylight that has each piece of his prestige cosmetic drip. The rest of prestige outfits only have the weapons dripping. When you infect every survivor in the match as Albert Wesker, you will get a global saturation score event that will award you a thousand points. Wow. And now to the question nobody asked. If you wanted to start now from scratch, how much it would take you to buy every single DLC? Well, the answer to that is $176 in order to buy each licensed and original chapter. But if you wanted to okay. buy every single legendary skin in the game, because you wanted to use every single unique character in the game, it would cost you around $270. I ain't spending that. $100 extra. Holy f uh, damn you green screen look at this shit look what is that what is that i try to fix it but the, it's not fixable right now man but anyway look i'm gonna end the video right here let me know your thoughts in the comments some of these are pretty interesting man i'm not gonna hold you some of these are pretty interesting Bly got an ugly ass face that's all i'm gonna say but look man i appreciate everybody that tunes into the channel salute to mink skull his link will be in the description along with my dvd family if y'all want to support my channel by becoming a member that link will be down there and if you want to follow me on all social media platforms those links are gonna be down there as well uh this is pretty dope uh i like you know learning about stuff like this it's it's dope how like very detail these uh developers for behavior like to be with the with the killers and the survivors but can y'all fix the wiggle mechanic please man like damn i'm still mad about that i know i shouldn't be but damn that wiggle anyway look i'm gonna drop it there i appreciate everybody that tunes in y'all the best i hope y'all keeping the positive vibes up the negative out and with that i'm out so stay safe stay blessed always rap on point wash your hands wash your ass peace and unity till next time adios Wait, wait, wait.